Watch you guys got another video here for you. This USB toolkit is all you're going to ever need to fix computers, backup data, data recovery, anything like that. It's an awesome bit of kit and I'm going to show you how to build it for yourself. It's very easy to do and it's not going to take a very high skill set to do. I'm just going to quickly format this USB flash drive. Now what is the size of USB flash drive that you're going to need for this particular project? Well I suppose it's going to come down to how many ISOs that you're going to want to drop onto this USB flash drive. Whether that will be, uh, you know, uh, 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes, all depends on what you want to do. So let's take a look. It's called Ventoy and it's a very new project out there. And to be honest, I'm pretty impressed. It's a really decent bit of kit, this 200 plus ISOs already uh, tested and working, 100% open source. Uh, simple to use and basically it works with uh, legacy and UEFI support here as well. So you can check the compatibility list for all the ISOs that have been tested. I'll show you that a little bit later on. But what we're going to do here is basically drop on a bunch of ISO images on here. Now they can be Linux distros, they can be Windows distros and they can also be a backup software like Acronis or any other type of ISO that you want. You can see here, we're gonna be downloading the Windows version here, but they do have a Linux version if you are a Linux user. This will take you to this website here, where you can download the actual uh, files. So I'm gonna come down here, gives you some information. So we've got the download links here for the Windows zip, and also we've got the Linux zip there as well. If you wanna do Linux, by all means, uh, download this version here. So I'm going to get this onto the system here. So we've got the folder. Let me drag this onto the desktop. We can close that outer box down now. So here we have two folders on our desktop. We've got our ISOs and we've also got the software. So I've got the USB flash drive plugged in and I'm now going to click on the executable file here, which is going to open up a window. You might get this Windows protected your PC. Click on more information. It's because it's an unknown publisher. So I'm going to click run anyway. Now, if you're one of the paranoid type of people out there, by all means, don't click on it, but it is safe to run. So I'm going to click on this one. So now we've got this little box popping up here that says our device is a 64 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra. That's the USB flash drive that I've plugged into my computer. I can now click on install and it will warn me that this drive will be formatted and all the data will be lost. So if you've got data on there that you don't want to lose, then back out. It will give you another check just to make sure. And then when you click yes, it will start to install and wipe all the data off that USB flash drive and prepare it with the Ventoy program. And that is it, it's that quick and easy to do. Now all you need to do now is update if there's an update available. In my case, it's fully updated. And I can close this off now and then start dropping on the ISO images. But let me just quickly take a look at the languages here that it supports. So if your language is here, you can select that and it will give you the language for your country. Very simple and easy to do. We can now close this box off and then get our ISO images and drop them onto our USB flash drive. And that is it. It is done and we are ready to go. That means you don't have to have multiple USB flash drives for all your Windows installations or your uh, ISOs for your Linux distros. You can just drop them straight onto this USB flash drive now and you'll be able to select from the list which one you want to install. So let's have a look at the compatibility list here for all the tested ISOs. So as you can see, there's quite an impressive list here. Over 200 plus ISOs have already been tested and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more added daily. Loads of Windows versions here and also loads of Linux, as you can see. So if you need to um, install Linux on a regular basis or Windows, you can just drop them onto your USB flash drive and start to install them. Choose which one you want and away you go. As if it supports legacy, or UEFI, it will be listed here. And again, it will do Windows PE, which means all your favorite WinPE disks, you can uh, put the ISOs on there and use those and boot to them and uh, basically fix PCs and stuff like that. You can also back up stuff with a Cronus True Image or Macrium Reflect or Parted Magic or G Parted or whatever it is that you want to use. You've got Kaspersky, you've got ESET, Live CDs here. Uh, data recovery software, memtest, all of these will work on the, this USB flash drive once you've got it prepared. Now that means 
that you can have all of your utilities on one USB flash drive and it's very quick and simple and easy to set up. So I'm going to quickly drag these ISO images onto uh, my USB flash drive and then I'll show you on the computer what it looks like so you get a real idea of what it's all about. So let's go ahead and grab these ISO images here and drag them onto a USB flash drive because I've already created uh, and prepared that drive. So you can either copy and paste these or you can just drag and drop them. It's entirely up to you which way you want to do it. So either way, drag and drop or you can copy and paste this up to you. So now they're copying across. Now, of course, you will have way more ISOs than what I'm doing here. I'm just doing a few just to show you, to give you an idea of what it works like and how it works. Now, the beauty of this, it just means that if you want to uh, do like a different variety of ISOs, like, for instance, some Linux and some Windows and also Windows PE and also backup software, data recovery. You can have all those on one USB flash drive by dragging and dropping them. And that is it. You just put that into your computer that you want to boot to and away you go. You can then go and install straight from that location as I'll show you in a second when this is completed. Now, I do think this software is the way forward because some people have found it very difficult to create uh, multiple boot uh, USB flash drives with Windows and Linux and other types of ISOs on there. And some people have found it quite difficult to do. This is very simple. It's just basically install the software to the uh, USB flash drive and then drag and drop all your ISOs on there. Very easy to do. And you can see here, uh, all I need to do here is basically uh, boot up to this USB flash drive. Now you can get into the BIOS and of course it does support legacy and also UEFI. So what you'd need to do here is change the boot order. You can either do this on the fly or you can go into the BIOS itself and drag up the SanDisk or the UEFI SanDisk uh, type of um, USB flash drive here. Yours might be a different USB flash drive, but just basically drag that up to the first boot order or you can change the boot order on the fly like I said it's entirely up to you which way you go about it I'll just show you this way it'd be quick and easy and I'm just going to push F10 to save uh, that setting and it will automatically boot to that USB flash drive every time so let's just quickly do this I'm going to say yes and it will start to boot up and load that USB flash drive so let it uh, do its thing shouldn't be too long now so we'll just let that go and there we go I want to show you in real time so you can actually see and there we are we got the Ventoy um, menu here I could just select one of these and it will automatically boot to it it's that simple so let's go ahead and go to a Cronus true image I'm going to select the Cronus true image ISO and we'll go from there and you'll see in real time so I'm going to select one to go to a Cronus True image at 64 bit and it will load up and it will start to load my backup software. So if I needed to back up the computer that wasn't working properly and I just wanted to quickly get the data off, I could easily uh, boot up to a Cronus here and back up the data or recover it or whatever you want to do. Uh, pretty much you can uh, use this as that sort of backup method very simple and easy to do and it does it also with some other ones like iomi backup and also um, macroom reflect as well and also clonezilla if that's what you want to use another one here we've got eset uh, system rescue which allows you to scan for malware and viruses and other types of stuff it also does kaspersky so if that is what you want to use you can drop that on there as well and you can also uh, do parted magic as well if that's what you want to use to uh, cleanse your drives or do whatever you want to do with that you can do you can run mem test from there as well the world your oyster you can drag on what isos are compatible with it and basically use those to install windows operating systems or linux or whatever it is that you're trying to do with that computer it's a pretty nice bit of kit and it's probably one of the best ones that i've used for a while and uh, i think this could be my go-to tool for the foreseeable future until uh, I find something else. But other than that, that's going to be about it for this video. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, 
uh, then let me know by hitting that like button and also I should see you again for some more videos real soon my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you've got any video requests or anything like that you can always leave them in the comments section below and I'll try and uh, get to those videos a better place to do it is head over to my discord server and basically join up over there it's free to join and you'll see me on there having a chat any problems for your computers i can try to help you out over there we've got some other guys helping out with some tech support stuff over there as well so i hope to see you on the discord server real soon thanks again for watching stay safe guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.